Get ready for Mikey Sen TV. Four, three, two, one, zero. Hey guys, what's going on? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, here we are. I've got all my goodies. I did good today. I went out of town. I picked up some more things. And also my big package, giggity, was delivered today. I said it was going to be here yesterday. Then I checked again this morning and it said it was going to be here Monday. But it ended up coming in today while I was gone. So... Anyway, Mikeyson, what did you get? And why are you sitting on the floor in a different room? Because I can. Alright guys, what did I get? Boom. I got one, two, three, four, thirty-fives. I got one, two, three, four, forty-fives. All beautiful. The 35s are used. I got them from a guy I found on Craigslist or Marketplace or whatever. And I met him uh, going into Clarksville. And then we spent the, some time in Clarksville and looked around and did some stuff. And then I found the 45s at Dick's. No, at uh, whatever stupid sporting store. Not Dick's. Not Play It Again. But... Uh, 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 Anyway, I'll try and think of the name. And uh, they had a bunch of them there, so... And they were a good price. They were just over a dollar a pound. So, pretty good deal on that, considering online they're going two dollars a pound or more. So, got a good deal on those. And, my big gum last package came in. Let's take a look-see. Ooh, what is that, Mike? Ooh, what? Yeah, a high and low pulley system. That's right, guys. And there's my bench. Now, I'm just waiting on my dumbbells to come in from Canada. And that could take anywhere from tomorrow to another six weeks. I don't know. Uh, they're kind of behind schedule, so it's going to be a little while before they come in. And just so you know, it's not dumbbells it's not 10s 20s 30s 40s 50 60 70 80 90 100 110 20 30 40 50 no it's adjustable dumbbells and what kind did i get i didn't get like your standard bowflex or iron master or iron whatever uh that where they're all kind of in one and you just kind of turn knobs or you move a pin or something like that i got kind of your basic adjustable dumbbell with a handle and spin locks and they come with, you know, 10 pound plates and 5 pound plates and 2 and a quarter, 2 and a half pound plates or whatever, 5, whatever. And essentially, if you put them all together, it's two dumbbells. Each dumbbell is 110 pounds, or you can take off and put on what you want. They could be 5 pound dumbbells or 110 pound. So... You know, when you look at it and say, God, you spent that much money on two dumbbells? Well, again, at the same time, they got all those plates on them, and you can adjust the weights. So you don't need a rack full of weights. Would I have liked a rack full of weights? Yes. Because that's what I'm used to. You know, I'm used to going over and getting boom, boom, boom. You know, just like this. So these here are going to take time to undo and do and do. So it's just, it's give and take. I got them for a good price per pound. You know, and for the quality and the finish of them, they're looked at as really, really nice finished dumbbells, which don't really matter to me. But, you know what? I did what I did, and I got what I got, and so here we are. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm going to start cutting this open. I may bring you along for most of the ride or some of the ride. I have no idea. So, oh, let's, uh... I don't even know if you're straight here. Close enough. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. Eh. You get the idea, right? So, 
So we spent a lot of time in Clarksville, had a good time, went out and eat, went through the mall, went through a couple of other stores and enjoyed ourselves. Most of our time was spent in traffic. I've never seen that much traffic in my life, ever. Mike, then you must not have ever been to L.A. or this place or Chicago or, or whatever. No, well, I haven't. But, you know what? It was backed up all across six lanes, eight lanes, whatever. Six lanes and a turning lane. So... It was a lot of traffic, guys. And I mean, to go a mile, it took us like an hour. So, but we had a good time nonetheless. <laughs> oh. What brand is it, Mike? What brand? Titan Fitness. Titan Fitness. Made in America, guys. Made in America. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. My bad. Boy, I don't feel like putting stuff together. It's already heavy. Already too heavy for me. Alright, alright. Let's see. Got that. Do the sniff sniff. Smells like new metal, guys. New metal. And this is not your typical, like, entry level, lower level type of a pulley system. This is a little bit more expensive one where you got your double rods where the, the weight moves up and down two rods instead of just a square, square metal on square metal riding up and down. So I spent a little bit more to have something a little nicer. And yeah, right now I'm in this extra bedroom, which is basically what we call the kids' playroom. It's got a little kid's bed in it, but they don't use it. So, okay. Uh, they don't use it, so I'm probably going to clean it up and have my, my workout stuff in here. And if I don't feel like that's going to work out... Then I'm going to try and make a spot in our bedroom. we got a pretty big bedroom. There's the pull down. It feels nice and solid. It feels like good quality. Where a lot of times uh, bars will feel like really hollow and really uh, kind of chintzy and cheap. This, this has weight to it. That's a heavy bar. Feels pretty good. Then you got the low one. This is one that they give you. Of course, you can use all kind of different attachments. This, but in the picture, it shows this one on the bottom where you row. Now, eventually, I want to get the handles 
they got a name it's kind of like a T handle T grip kind of thing do that and I want to get a rope so I can do some tricep extensions and stuff like that I miss doing hopefully I'll be able to do all that that's probably to my seat to raise it up and down I assume So I was kind of surprised at least whenever I got the email or the text um, saying that this was delivered. I was pretty happy. I'm glad. But, you know, I wish I'd have been here. And that way, you know, you don't have a package like that sitting outside. But I don't guess anybody was going to steal this one. <laughs> kind of hefty, uh, a hefty uh, box to try to take off with. Yeah, that's some good heavy, uh, heavy gauge steel right here, guys. That's that's heavy. That's not that's not lightweight. It's good stuff. I have a feeling I made a good choice, and I hope that I have this stuff forever. Now I've had equipment and sold equipment and had equipment and sold equipment, had equipment and sold equipment. And I'd like to be at a point in my life, even if I can't work out hard and heavy, I'd like to be at a point in my life where I can keep where I keep my, my stuff so I don't have to keep buying it and uh, a lot of it has to do with, you know, hey, are you uh you gonna be moving a again or are you gonna be you know, moving here, moving there, doing this, doing that. You know, I don't want to. Okay. We got a package of, like, all the nuts and bolts. And it looks like a little tool here. That's pretty cool. I guess I'll go ahead and kind of cut that tape. And there we go. good job at packing all the stuff and making it look professional and even all these things are heavy those are those are not lightweight so so far as far as that goes as far as feeling like it's work like it's gonna be worth the money and heavy duty I'm pretty happy so far just from what it feels like you know here's the cables Man, I'm so happy that I was able to find some some weight plates. Uh, got a good deal on those 45s. Uh, I got the 35s for a dollar a pound. And uh, they're used, but, you know, who cares about used? Chain, we all want to know what that's for. For the pulleys and stuff and all that. So... There's some more pulley goodness. Pulley goodness! Man, that's some heavy stuff. Only thing that I would ever think of changing out would be uh, the rollers. They got a name. For some reason I can't think of the name. Pulleys or whatever. Uh, I'd, make, I'd get metal ones. But these feel... These don't feel like your super chintzy plastic. They feel pretty good. So... Maybe nothing to worry about. If it had like aluminum metal ones, I would definitely say this is definite gem quality if they were metal. But even this right here, it's like heavy. So that's good. I can't wait to be able to 
see what I can do and you know I don't expect to be super strong or nothing guys I'm not in it for that and that's gonna be uh, where the poles come through I assume it's probably has to do with the poles they come through and then the weight slides up the poles and all this and then it probably yeah that's something like some something along them lines that's what they are nothing else in here Whew. I assume this is gonna be the seats don't want to cut through too deep that's what she said again So we got the seat and the roller pad deals for your legs, for your knees to go up under. Uh, okay, like some. All right. Seat. Everything's wrapped up nice. Everything looks nice so far. Just check over the quality. Look at the stitching. It looks good. No holes. No, no frayed threads. Feels pretty solid. Once again, put that there. These are the little rollers that your knees will go up under. And yes, I'm using my trusty old camera, my old action camera. GoPro, GoPro's not in use right now. I'm upset about the GoPro thing. Pads, everything looks standard on here, looks pretty good. You know, uh... They don't have any kind of disclosure or whatever the word is, you know, any any warning on their website that the remote doesn't work with the GoPro Hero 9. So, that's 50 some odd dollars that I just spent on a remote that don't work with the GoPro Hero 9. So, now I have to do a return. Probably mostly at my expense. So, I don't like that. Um, and, not only that, and I don't want to be, you know, uh, I don't want to complain because I'm thankful for everything I've got and, you know, I'm really happy. I'm, I'm going to enjoy using all my stuff. and But, also, it didn't come with a charger because, well, they expect you to plug your phone, your, the GoPro into a USB and charge it that way. But, that would be okay if the USB was accessible easily, but you got to pop open the battery door and it's inside there. So now you're sitting with your camera, sitting down with the battery door kind of open and the cord's in there and you're only charging one battery at a time. And... It's just, I'm not real happy with that. And this right here, of course, is going to be the foot plate that's at the bottom, and your feet go against those, and you're doing your, your, your rows. So, boy, that's, that's some thick metal. Well braced, double braces, welds, welds. Nice. You even got a place here where you can uh, attach it to the floor uh, with some bolts, uh, concrete bolts or wherever it is that you're working out on. Uh, I probably won't do that because that's kind of not feasible. I got flooring. Uh, we are on a concrete slab, but, you know, we got flooring. So, 
unless I want to go drilling a hole through my floor just to do that, you know. Uh, well, these pieces are no joke, guys. Ooh, that's beefy right there, and I know what this is. This right here is where your weights hold on to. You put your weights on. Yeah. Uh, that's that gun beefy right there guys holy crap yeah well that's quality that is thick it's heavy see this is going to be on the poles two poles and it goes up when you pull like so weights on here nice 13 inch at least 13 inch long uh Holes, uh, whatever the heck for your weights. Ooh, that's nice, guys. I'm running out of space. Running out of space. Man, more and there's more and there's more and more and more. Good grief. I'm running out of room. Ooh. I need a picture to look at, guys. I need a picture. Oh, Tell you what, I'm getting a workout. doing this this is probably the back end of it it sits on the floor yep yeah it's gonna be the back of it again it's got places here to attach it to concrete or your floor or whatever something I really like seeing something I really like I believe I believe I can fly I believe I can touch the sky go there yep that's where your seats gonna attach see Something like that, and then that, uh, that's where the the knee brace will probably go on. Put your knees on, and your seat will come out here. Boy, I like that badge. See that? It's a nice metal badge right there. It's nice. It's like a it's like a machine textured kind of aluminum piece or whatever. Boy, that's crazy. That's nice. Nice, nice, nice. And then the two upright poles that the weights slide up and down on are in there. Good Lord. I don't have enough room. I need all kind of room for this thing. Oh, man. Alright, then we got the two poles in here. Oh, and that's what your weights, that's what it slides up and down on. Remember this right here? Those poles go down in here, and the weight slides up and down them. That's what that's for. Alright, okay, Mike. Whoo! Well, I hope. 
Did I find some instructions somewhere? Or else I'm gonna have a situation. All right. I'll get back to you in a minute, guys. Hold in there. <clears throat> okay, so after some messing around, I finally got the manual onto my phone. That's so far that's the only thing I don't like. Uh, these things should all come with manuals, you know. We don't all want to have to mess around online and get stuff and and do all that. So that's really my only little gripe I would have right this second. Nothing major, of course. But uh, whew, all right. Thirty-three and twenty-seven. Thirty-three. Twenty-seven of be washer. This I don't see. I assume it's going to be one of those mini washers right there. So, 33. This looks to be one of those, possibly. Like, my phone's probably going to die before I even get it figured out. I don't necessarily see 27, but I'm going to assume that that's these. Because I don't see anything else that would be a 27. primitive tools guys so I wish I had some little socket set but I don't So, anyway guys, that's kind of what we're doing here, this is a nice machine right here. It's a butte. 
a real beaut. Getting all this fancy stuff like I'm gonna be lifting heavy. <laughs> well. Yeah, we had a good day today, other than the traffic. It was nice to get out of town. I haven't been out of town in forever. Don't really go out of town. I'm going to get these fastened up and then we'll check back in. Okay, I got the foot part on. Now we're doing the back. Back part here. Same method, a couple of screws. I'll get that done. All right, I'm gonna screw them on. I'll get back to you. Well, this hair ain't gonna be easy, guys. Set. notice in order to get these screws up under there these bolts I set it up on these pads kind of awkward
Well, I can't really tell what I'm doing. Let me take a look, see. Okay, it goes in. Work with me here. Work with me. What a fun job this is doing by myself. Same. Think. I hope I know what I'm doing. Well, there's no numbers or anything on some of these things. concerned. Those might have went there. I think these go there. Wow. 
once again really the instructions are not great you know I'm just I'm giving you real real time stuff here guys okay so these go these hold the pads these things hold the pads so I don't need those right now I think these go on those bars pretty certain Again, it's very vague, but I think these go on next. <clears throat> I don't guess they have a right and wrong way. I might put a little. Oh, that can go on good. Really? All right, I'm gonna put something on here to make that slide. Be back.
it off. Whew, moving along, guys. Not gonna lie, I think I did something wrong. Yeah. This pole is supposed to be back here. <laughs> yeah. Let me fix that off camera. So I looked to see if I had a little ratchet set and I have I have the little pieces whatever but I don't have the actual ratchet. So I broke out the old trusty 
Uh, last scripts, help me out here. I'm tired of messing around. beat a good pair of ice scripts guys no matter what anybody says I don't have no spanners wrenches I don't have much of anything but I think I'm gonna I guess alright uh, I don't know how loose they're supposed to be I don't assume they're supposed to be so loose that they're wiggly wiggling all over I assume I'm just gonna go over and tighten up a couple of these other ones here. I don't gotta film that. Academy Sports. It just hit me. How crazy is that? Something just hits me like that. From the very beginning of my video, telling you where I got my 45 plates at. My 45 pound plates. Academy Sports. I'm so amazing. for further instructions. Uh, 32 and 27. 32 and 27. Where's everything at?
Yeah. It's pretty impressive, really, for holes like that to line up because not only do they have to line up here, too, but you got to have this one I'll line up with this one and this one I'll line up with this. Pretty impressive.
It's a long video, guys. So And you don't want to get the vice grips on this. Guys, this has been a long journey. And we still got to put the cables in it. Let's see. Yada, 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 and so on and so forth. Okay. 
Yar yar yar. I don't know what goes where because they're these things aren't labeled, so. I think 42 would be this one. I think it goes in like so. Now why would you go in good the first time and not second? In there, man. Play with my emotions all day. It's about time for me to call my wife. Make sure she takes her medication. Her med o k show. And then we got these little caps that go on the out. These are nice to have on the end of these pads here. I don't know if these are the correct washers. Well, that's about all I got left. I might should have used a different washer. I don't know. Had a couple washers left over, but they didn't look like the proper washers for anything else. I don't know if that's the right ones here. These were probably to go under the seat. Let me take that back out. The directions aren't exactly perfectly clear on some stuff, so I mean they're somewhat legible, but it's kind of eh, who knows. <laughs> Well, if you made it this far in this video, you're doing pretty good, guys. How about that? There we go. We're just about on the cables. Holy cow maneuvers. Yeah, this is a heck of a little machine. I think I'm going to like it, guys. Get a little bit tighter. There we go. Oh, man. Whew. All right. We're pretty much ready for cables. Wow. Look how far of a reach.
lot of machines that you buy don't have that kind of reach to where you can really get a good stretch. That's got a good tall reach. It's like 82, 3, 4, 5 inches tall. That's pretty good. Alright, I'm going to kind of get the cables figured out and then we'll do a little more video. Alright guys, I had to take a little bit of a break, grab something to eat and sit down and relax for a little bit because I've been going all day. So what I ended up having to do, what they want you to do in the instructions is you got to take off this pulley and this pulley and this top cable gets fed up through the top uh, pole here which is pretty cool I mean it makes it look clean but you got to take out these two bolts that you already put in to hold all this plus you got to take off those two pulleys to feed it in and make sure it's all done right so nothing uh, horrible but you know just having to redo stuff kind of Tighten everything back up. I'll do that off camera. I won't bore you guys with tighten that up. Tighten that up. So. Hey now, you're an all star. Yes, you came on. Go. Hey. Uh, I may have to undo this one too. I bet you I will. Bet you I will. That's probably why they had those loose to begin with. Because now this top one has to go through. Has to go through here. Has to go through this top one loop around, go back up here, and then it comes down and attaches to there. And then the low one comes through, it'll go up through here, and fasten down here. Something like that. <laughs> so, <clears throat> ah, lots of stuff going on. Man, I hate that I gotta redo that. I think I'm gonna have to take them all apart though, to be honest. I don't like that. I don't think I can feed that in there. Nope. Dang. All of these gotta be taken apart. That kinda sucks. So it won't be long. I'm gonna have to go get my wife from work. I took the car today so I could go out of town, of course, and, uh, so, you do that, and then you gotta, you know, you gotta go pick the wife up, but it was worth it, I had a good time, I think my nephew had a good time, and, you know, look around some stores and see the people, and, you know, it's been a while since I've been out of town. <clears throat> so, let's see. Hey now, you're a hey now, and a hey hey now, now. Now hey, hey 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 now, na na now, now, hey now. I think that's how the song goes. Right? Yep, I'm going to have to take all these off. <laughs> i go like that. Of a little kind of a little cumbersome kind 
mind of a little bit. Crazy, if you will. But you get the idea, right? So now that's gonna fall. <laughs> oh no, because I've already got this one undone. Which is front chin. Watch it. Now I've got to get this back out. Damn. Crazy stuff, guys. Whoop. You just hold your little butt or thur. about had it today and then that I believe will clip on to there I think I think that's how it goes. And I'm going to have to take those bottom ones off. Looks like. Feed it through. Alright. him to take all these apart. Well, I didn't even need that. Yeah, it's the first time I've dropped anything on this whole thing. Guess I should have done the bottom one first.
Is it done? Could it be? Look at that. That right there is the exercise all itself. Uh! Oh my gosh. Now keep in mind, that wasn't super hard to do, it's just a little time consuming and when you don't have the proper little tools, eh, kind of sucks. Look at there. Oh. Look at that, boys and girls. You can put it up here if you want. Or you can let her swing a dang dang. Same with this one. I don't know what this extra chain is for. It might be for... I think it's to get that... Uh, bottom pulley out a little farther. I think that's what it is. That's what I'll hook it out. That's what I'll use it for. How about that? So we got one more of these. Come on! here well I can honestly say that it's done these two washers here I think were supposed to go on the screws underneath the seat but they didn't look like they were numbered or labeled as the ones that they had under there so I didn't use them I may take those out from under the seat and put them in there I'm fixing to do what will be my first initial workout in five years watch this Now, it doesn't say to use any of this, but I'm going to put a tad. Just a tad. Alright, here we go. The first exercise I've done in five years. On my new machine. I think I tightened everything up. Woo! Oh yeah, look at that. You get full reach. Full reach, guys. smooth I think putting a little bit of oil on there helped let me put the camera back here and get you a little bit closer view sorry for the shaking how about that just 
kind of give you an idea of the shaky, shaky, shaky. That's nice. You scoot you down a smidgen. I mean, the video's long anyway, might as well continue. Right? Got plenty of plenty of room for stretching. Yeah, that's super smooth. Woo! All right, guys. Long video, but it was worth it. Yeah, it runs. It runs nice and smooth, guys. Uh. Okay, let's get to the nitty gritty. What I didn't like, I already mentioned, and that was the uh, lack of instructions. You had to go online and look at them. You don't want to have to go online to look at something. What if you don't have the internet? What if your phone, you know, what if you don't have a phone? Or you can't get service. So, shouldn't have to depend on the internet for a, a manual. Now, let's look at build quality. That's like top notch. If it's not gym quality, I'd say it's right there. It's right close to it. Now it doesn't have the ball bearing type uh, track there that some of these machines have. Uh, I don't believe so. I, I think it's just you know a round tube sliding on a round on two separate round tubes versus a square you know tube sliding up and down. On a square tube like a lot of cheaper models of these are so very nice nice quality nice nice work again this adjusts so these move up and down to fit your legs. Good, uh, good quality uh, lap bar. It's not all uh, like chintzy thin metal and ho super hollow. I mean it's hollow of course, but it's a thicker metal. Uh, metal, metal. <laughs> so it's not cheap at all. It's something that you'd spend probably thirty dollars on, at least. And the same is for this one here. That's good quality metal. Seat's nice. That's going to be nice to put your feet against. Yep. Guys, it's been a long video. If you've stuck around, I appreciate it. Hey, you know, i got to get you involved in everything, right? In the whole process. So... I'm getting out of here. I'm tired. Alright? Check out my channel. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Check out my other channel, Old Mental Pickle. That's where I live stream video games. Guys, don't forget, get up, get out, get right, do it to it. Whew. And go out there and stimulate that economy. We'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get around and do it, do it!